So we've got a troop carrier here. This is a 2019 model truck. Now the question everyone wants to know is, what can I fit under my headliner? So we're gonna pull one of these out and we're gonna have a look what's under there. So they've got these plastic covers, which they can simply just pull off. Under there, there's two 10 mil bolts, both side. We're gonna undo those and drop this cross member, which is gonna allow us to pull these covers out. We'll have a look what's under there. So you can see we've managed to drop one of these cross members. Now there's a bit of a trick in getting these out. So you can see we've got our bolts undone. Now where that plastic molding went over this, it covered up the body work till about here. So if we drag this guy out, there's risk we're gonna scratch paint off, you're gonna see it forever. So the trick is putting an amount of force on here to pull this back and we're gonna drop it out in that motion. Now we've got all three of these out. To remove the headlining, you can see here this is just sitting here. So those roof bows actually clamp it in and they actually push it tight onto the roof skin. So packaging on these, there's not much room. We're gonna be able to fit our damping mat on here to get rid of that tinning, but any foam or anything else, it's gonna push this down, we're not gonna have room. So to get this middle one out first, which is gonna allow us to joggle the front and rear one, I'm gonna pull it down in the middle, just be careful not to crease it, which is gonna shorten the length and allow us to pop one side out. So you can see these things, they're made of like a, it's almost like a bubble wrap core flute, which just gives it some structure and strength. And then underneath, where all the noise comes from in the troopy. We're gonna pull the rest of these out, we're gonna put our dampening sheet in here, and then we're gonna reinstall them in. So now we've got our headliner out, you can see that the Troopy roof looks a bit more like a boat hull. There's actually nothing on here. So that, as the car moves, the talking and twisting, this is all gonna make noise. Now, packaging's tied on it, which we discovered. We're still gonna fit our dampening sheets on here, though. The other thing, a lot of people use these vehicles for touring, and they take them into climates that are either extremely hot or extremely cold. We do have a paint, which it's a water-based paint you can brush on. It's gonna halve the temperature that'd be exposed through the roof to reduce the radiant heat. So that's another product that you'd be able to put your dampening sheets on first, paint the whole roof out, and then fit the headliner back in, and you're gonna have a thermal insulation, and you're gonna have control of the panel resonance. So we'll get stuck in and we'll put these dampening sheets on, and we'll show you the difference. So now you can see we've got our dampening sheets on the roof, which you tap on that, it's got rid of the tinniness or the panel resonance that's gonna happen with it. Now we're gonna reassemble our headliner, much the same sequence as it come out, where we can put our frontmost piece in and our rearmost piece, and then follow it up with these other two. So we'll put them in. So just a bit of a tip here. You can see we're gonna to touch out the headliner panel on this cross member mount. If I pull down to belly out the center of this, it's gonna put a dimple in there. So if you just get, if you've got something, a rag or a bit of foam, you can just get rid of that sharp, it's gonna help protect your headliner. Pull that away and you've got no marks. So a tip for you here, which I've discovered is, and you should always do, when you take this out, if you mark an arrow, put a bit of tape on here, put an arrow that says front of car, and if you label these one, two, three, four, 
you're going to find that this is not parallel. There's a cut line on it to match up here. So it's worth labeling these as you take them out so you don't put them in the wrong way, turn around the wrong way, get the sequence right. Now we've got our headliner pieces back in. You can see there is a bit of a gap, but don't stress about that because you've got a good 75 mil of cross car beam that's gonna cover that up. So if you just balance these panels between the two, you can then put your beams up and bolt them straight back in. You'll see when you get the beam close, you're being conscious not to touch this paint. Now you could be wise and get like a piece of wax paper or plastic, put that underneath so you're at no risk of scoring the paint. You'll get it to a point where we want to snap in and then you'll push it up. Now we can put our bolts in. So a little bit of a technique here as a one man show. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to offer this side up and I'm just going to start to thread this bolt in. That'll hold that so it's not at risk of dropping. And then we're going to use a bit of wax coated paper here just so I don't risk scratching this, slide it up. At the same time, we're gonna put a bit of force this way so we keep that clear so we don't scratch any of this face. So we've got that bolt in, it's purely just a location for us. I don't have to worry about this dropping down now. We can concentrate up here. And I can see it's pretty close. If I bend it down, I can actually clear that, that I haven't needed to use that paper. Now it's just a matter of pushing it up and you'll hear it snap in. There we go, it's up. And because this beam is designed to press against the roof skin, what I notice is our whole alignment is slightly out. So, an old mechanics trick to line it up, put a bit of pressure, but get a screwdriver. Just be cautious with your threads. Get it in the hole. That way you can take the load and you can push it up to line up. Once you got your first one in, the next one's easy to get in. You can see I used my shoulder there just to give it that little bit of force to take strain off the thread that we're not gonna damage the thread as we go in. So once you've done them up with hand, you can use your power drill, whatever you use.